and we have a whole bunch of foreigners in the back there, so I'm going to do it in English. We can hear you. Yeah. Um, the integration system that we have right now, or the, the permanent residence requirements we have, just went over to a point system. We have two different ways uh, of getting permanent uphold, or two different ways of getting uphold in Denmark residency. One is permanent and with who? And with um, Statsborg escape. Um, the other one is temporary. And the 100 point system going into effect means that from now on, when you, when you seek residency, you have to do both parts. And it's also a pay system <laughs> now. Um, so let's go over the 100 points and see if you guys could, could get them. Like I said, there's a lot of different kinds. There's au pair, au pal, or uh, because, of, because of work, or because of getting married, or whatever the reason might be that you seek residence in Denmark. And all of those eventually go into the funnel where you'll seek permanent, either permanent residence or citizenship is Statsbo escape. Um, yeah? It takes a long time to say it in Danish. So there's three parts to the 100 point system. There's the, the basic requirements, there's the part where you show you're a good citizen, and then there's the rest. It has uh, 70 points for the, the the basic parts, and there are seven things you have to fulfill. Uh, have lived here legally, not be a, uh, an, uh, a serious criminal, no, don't owe the government any money. Don't take any money from the government. For example, content help or start help. Um, uh, you have to say that you're a good um, midboer by doing uh, different things, being a part of. Well, we'll get to that. Um, you have to take some language competence, which shows that you could hold a discussion in Danish. Um, and the last one that I missed, but it wasn't important. <laughs> uh, then you have to get 15 points by doing one of these two things. Either be in a Freltre or school bestyrelse, uh, or a Boli organization, or you have to take this med Borscapes uh, which just went into effect on the 1st of June and has not been published yet, as far as I can see. It's 15 questions, but I haven't seen it, so I don't know if, if I could do it or not. <laughs> you have to pay money to do it. So Then you can get the last 15 points by either having had full-time work the last <laughs> four years, four years out of the last four and a half, or have gone through a long uh, in, uh, education in the country, or have shown uh, great, uh, what do you call this, language ability, which I obviously don't have in English. <laughs> so I just wanted to know if, if, if we took the, the Danish population, could they do it? So I only took the number of people in full-time work uh, for the last four years from Denmark Statistik, and that shows 37% of Danes, which is 2.2 million out of 5.5 million. Or if you take people of other background than Danish, it's 40% who've been in work. So if you're qualified and you've been, um, if, you can, if you can get your 100 points after what I just described, you're part of less than 40% of the Danish population. So that's exciting. Uh, then if you can do that, then get some money and go down to Udlendinger Service and go in um, and see if they will let you pay up to 6,000, more than that for people who are seeking for more than one person, um, to promise this. <laughs> the point is not to read it. Um, the point is to be overwhelmed by how stupid it is. Um, yeah. So, blah, blah, blah. What are we supposed to do? What is my point? My point is, we have to get rid of this 100 point system. Not whether or not we should discuss whether um, we should protect our borders, uh, we being Danes, um, not whether or not it's right, what, who we should let in, who we shouldn't, but the 100 point system is making it very difficult for Udlending and to do anything. It's, they can't make any decisions on their own based on individual cases because of this system. It's also turning people away. People are choosing not to come into the country to work here because it's so hard to get in and so expensive. Um, and then they come and they have all of the other challenges of being an expat in the country. Um, they have make, made exceptions, sorry, recently. Yeah, I think they are starting to do it. I, I, yeah, my story's a different one, which, uh, anyway. Um, but anyway, the point is we have to either vote it out or do something else. I don't know, I can't vote. Um, 
I'm not allowed. So, we've got to get rid of it. That's that.